Hello, my name is Preet and now I'm in third year in Medical University of Sofia and uh, I will tell you a little bit about my week, how it looks like, how is my uh, schedule is, so you have a little bit idea how a medical student's week looks like in Sofia. So usually uh, academic uh, year or first semester starts in uh, October for the first year students and uh, second year onwards starts in se September. First semester always ends with uh, in January and uh, the next semester always starts in February. So your exams are usually in um, January, like for your first semester, all the exams are in January. So it depends in first year it was three exams, in second year is two and in third year I had also had like two exams. So it depends in which semester, which year you are. Uh, and the exams in uh, summer, they are like for medical students, like they are also dentist students, but they have different exams. For medical students, they are like more. They have like heavier exams all in summer, in uh, June, like most of them are in, they start in May and they end in the June. If you want to do a retake, if you have to do a retake, uh, they are all, they're usually in September, in beginning, or also some starts also earlier in August. So it depends which exam you couldn't pass, so you have to take the retakes in August or in September which can also like um, goes uh, towards into October. It depends again on the exam, which exam you couldn't pass. So you, your academic year is from um, s September until June. And after that, you have summer holidays, uh, July, August, September. So uh, mid-September, you come back and you start your new semester. And during summertime, you can spend time with your family, go for vacation. So there's like two, two months which you can spend with your family. Here the university is divided in lectures and practicals. Uh, lectures are which are like um, not, you don't have to visit them, they are not mandatory, but the seminars are. Uh, you have to visit your seminars, you can't miss them. Like um, there are, if you are sick or something, okay, one or two, two is maximum you can miss. Seminar you have to visit and lectures are, which I personally recommend, if the lectures are good, do visit them because they are very helpful. So most of the subjects you have lectures and seminar, uh, like for like for anatomy, biology, chemistry, you have your lectures and seminar. But subjects like sports, Latin, or Bulgarian, uh, you don't have lectures, just just the seminars. Uh, but uh, for, for other more other subjects, there are lectures which are not like you don't have to attend them, as I said. But you can you have you should visit them. The schedule of your um, lectures and seminar depends on on your group. Uh, which group you are because we are divided here into small groups uh, uh, every group has like 11 to 12 uh, students in it and uh, we visit our lectures seminars with them and lectures are like with big like the whole stream we have two streams in our uh, university and one stream has like one lecture schedule another stream has a second lecture so, uh, schedule so um my my lectures were for example um it was varying what some like in the week some lecture starts at 8 a.m another 10 a.m like throughout the throughout the week it was like distributed the lectures and seminar so the, my week this this semester for example it was full like from monday to friday we had lectures seminars like you know the whole day for example um wednesday or thursday it was the full full day we finished on at 7 p.m sometimes so that depends again on your which semester you are and how many subjects you have in your uh, semester uh, so usually you don't have no uh, Saturday or Sunday any lectures, any seminars, so which is uh, the time I personally use for uh, revising, making my notes and or also uh, if I have like finished my notes early, I spend time with my friends or uh, calling my family and chill a little bit. So basically uh, to have a like free time in, in medical university, like studying medicine, it is really a struggle uh, for me personally, because I was, uh, my time management, it took me so long to realize where should I put my focus, what is important, that took so much time. So that's why where, when I realized, oh my God, I'm spending my time on um, on stuff or on, on revising, which is maybe, not not important right now i should focus on another stuff so that's why uh, the free time it's on you if you study regularly constantly uh, you will have time i i had now in the last semester i had like lots of time because i focused more on um stuff i was really important and i studied regularly constantly that's why also i thank god i was able to pass my old exam with very good scores which i really like i think um 
was an achievement. So if you want to earn some money or you want to do some part-time job as a medical student, um, it is possible, but it depends again in which year or in which semester you are. Um, as personally, I would not recommend anyone, uh, or personally, I think it's hardest a year was for me the second year where you have overwhelming subjects like anatomy and physiology so I would say you can start in the beginning of first semester which is again it depends on you if you are if you have your basic knowledge enough so you can say okay I have lots of free time right now so I can uh, earn some money or for example in the beginning of the third year it was also easy to do a job um, and but it depends on you again how much you you think you can um, spend your time on your job or another stuff but it it can be very stressful as well because having a job study and then also you want to spend time with your friends it's it's gonna it can get stressful and there are options in uh, Sofia for uh, jobs for example if you are having if you know German or if you know any other language there are options you can uh, work as a translator or you can work in a uh, call center or um, like for helping other people uh, translating their stuff or there are also options to uh, work in a research lab um, so guys now I'm going to say, show you my weekly schedule which I put in my little calendar um, this is my weekly schedule how it looks like pretty much full um, a little bit messy sorry uh, what you see in the blue is uh, my old lectures and the red one are the seminars and I can tell you like um, for example on Monday I start at 8 a.m. And uh, with lecture, uh, I have four lectures on Monday and one seminar. So the day ends with at 5:15. Uh, pretty much the same thing for Tuesday. I have like four lectures and one seminar, uh, two seminars, sorry. And Tuesday is a long day. I end like uni at 7 p.m. Um, so and after that is not that much time for revision. You go home, eat, and then start revising for the next day. Uh, and Wednesday I have here for example two lectures where the day is full with seminars I have made like very important seminars part of physiology and clinical immunology for example and here I finish at uh, 5 15 uh, and after that I have time for revision and like stuff like that for like again preparing for the next day uh, for another seminars uh, which again I start at 8 a.m. which is my seminar pathology and I have two seminars and then I have the break between it and this break we usually use for uh, if we have tests and we study together grab a lunch and sit somewhere in the cafe and study or just talk if we don't have anything to study for that moment because the break is not that long and uh, then after that I have lectures like two lectures I attend and then I finish at um, 3 15 again and um, after that uh, this day uh, for um, follows with Friday then next day is 8 a.m. next uh, we start with Bulgarian language uh, so we have like four hours Bulgarian language and then after that we have a very interesting seminar internal medicine where you go to the hospital and have con uh, interaction with patients learn your skills and this is very interesting Friday is very interesting because we have no lectures there only seminars and we finish even earlier uh, 3 uh, p.m. and after that I go home uh, have time for myself. Uh, I I try to cook for the like whole day uh, for whole week next week, or uh, I clean my house. And also in the evening, I make sure that I have two hours for studies. And um, I I try to finish everything like you know the householding stuff, uh, like cleaning stuff like that, washing the clothes, uh, laundry. I finish try to finish on Friday, so I have Saturday and Sunday for myself, so I can study like because I focus on one subject on Saturday and one subject on Sunday, which like upcoming weeks are colloquiums uh, as. Uh, I'm having colloquiums, so it depends. Um, but I have my like strict uh, schedule for Saturday and Sunday. So this was my schedule. Uh, as you could see, it was uh, pretty much busy. But uh, keep in mind, it could be vary from semester to semester, and how many lectures you have, how many semesters you have. So you can have different schedule. So you can have more free time or less free time. So um, I I hope it it will help you, and um, you have little pretty much an idea how it looks like. And I also made some other videos uh, how it uh, being a medical student in Sofia looks like. Um, you can uh, there's a link below this video as well, so you can check it out. And uh, even if you have any questions regarding to this video, anything you can just comment below, and I will try to help you.